Good morning. And then we all make plans. I made a plan to talk to you about motor, sensory motor skill integration and academics. And I went for all my paperwork and went for all the stuff that I wanted to present. And then life happened. I'm sure in your life it also happened. You have everything mapped out. What you want to do, how you're going to do it, and then life happens. And nothing happens as you plan it. We wake up one morning and we have this beautiful bundle of love in our hands and we have so much dreams for them. And we know what we want for them and where we are going and everything is mapped out for this little being. In the first few year, three years, we go through what milestones they have to go through and what we expect, what they need to do. They need to crawl by this age. They have to make sounds by this age. All these different stuff that we think they need to do. And we get so scared and frustrated if they don't do it. And then, what after then? Then we forget all about this. And suddenly, it becomes the school's responsibility. And if teacher says, you know what? Your child has a problem in something you like. My child is perfect. There's nothing wrong. We don't need to follow up on this. They will just grow out of it. It is fine. But mom and dad, when we get this information from our teachers. It's great and it's wonderful that they do this and that we can do something about this. The sooner we do something about any sensory or motor integration problems our children have, the better their future. The better they will see patterns. If they can see patterns, they will be able to see words and remember words, form them together. Eyes will not jump from around and they will mix around letters and words. And they will even be able to see sequences in maps. Their brains will open for, for maps. They will, their memory will increase. There's so many things that I want to tell you about academics. But in a moment, all this information is all muckled up in my head. But life happens.